back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a have a look at my handbag connection. So stay right there if you want to see my handbags. Okay, so I'm going to start with this big old heavy tub. One of those great big heavy boxes. Um, now I'm the first to admit I I still have a massive, massive handbag obsession. It used to be so much worse, honestly, believe me. Um, I have, well, I can't even tell you how many handbags over the years I've actually owned. And then when I have far too many, and I think, do you know, I'm just not using these anymore, I give them away. I either give them to, like, the, 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 the daughters, um, I give them to charity shops, Basically, that is what I do with them. I either give them to charity shops or I give them, I like ask some of the girls if they want any first, or if I think there's particular ones that they probably won't want, I just give those to the charity shop anyway. Um, but believe me, they're always lovely bags and they're always in brilliant condition as well. But I've just always had this thing about them. Um, so anyway, it's been requested by a few people actually um, asking me if I could do a video on my handbag collection, so I'm going to get started. I will try to remember where I got them from. Let's, let's go. Oh, no, I have all sorts of things. I have some designer handbags. I have some handbags that I've bought in um, charity shops. Um, I've got some handbags that I've bought in Primark. It really does just um, depend. Okay, so this is number one that I'm pulling out, and I absolutely love this. Um, it's a lovely, lovely soft leather bag. Um, this is by a company called Tignanello, and it's um, it's an Italian brand. It's ever such, ever such soft leather, as you can see. It's got the little feet on the bottom there, and then it's got a couple of pockets here at the front. It's got one there. And it's got one there, and then inside it's got a pocket there. It's got a big one in there with lots of lot sort of sections and everything. And then it's got another one there and a zip on the back. So you know it's got loads of space for everything. And it's also one of those that if you put your um your contactless cards in here, they're protected. They can't be they can't be, I don't know, whatever it is cloned or whatever i absolutely love it's old and it's distressed now and it's just a brown leather bag um very similar to bayswater but it isn't a mulberry bayswater but it's very similar um it's got that bit that goes over the top nice and roomy lovely soft brown leather i really love this bag and i've literally I've just teamed it up by, I've got a little Gucci scarf here and I've just popped that on the handle and I just think it kind of just adds that little bit of something. This is a Primark bag and I love it. Just a little cheapy Primark bag. I think it was about £10 um, but I really like it. Just a little shoulder bag. You can wear it crossbody if you want to. Um, it's a faux leather and like a faux suede and it's got like the little ring bit here that you open it with and inside it's really really roomy but yeah you see I love this one as much as I love the expensive ones oh this is just a little Michael Kors crossbody bag it's a bit squashed that's terrible isn't it really I've allowed it to do that anyway a little black Michael Kors crossbody bag and inside it's got lots of like different pockets in here and I tend to take this on holiday with me because I can use it day and evening. So, yeah, that's my little, remember, yeah. Okay, this bag, I absolutely love. This cost a lot of money. And um, it's leather and it's patent leather. It is actually navy blue. I don't know if that, oh yeah, I think it might be coming across, but it's navy blue. Um, it has got a cross body strap if you want to use that. Um, just little grab handles with a zip closure. Um, inside it's beautifully lined in there. 
This I actually got many years ago when we went, Chris and I went to Florence on holiday. There was so much more money, let's put it that way, than we have now. And I was extremely lucky. I mean, I, you know what, Italy's fabulous and it's so stylish and Florence is beautiful. I fell in love with it. In fact, I'll just show you a photograph. Hold on. This photograph that Chris has got next to the bed is me in the square <laughs> in Florence. Yeah, a long time ago, I know. Um, and... Um, yeah, I was, we went into this one particular handbag shop and oh my goodness, these bags were to die for. Oh, they were just so beautiful. And I just could not make my mind up. And I'd have, I'd say, oh, I like that one, I like that one. And I'd be looking at myself in the mirror with this one, looking at myself in the mirror with that one. I just couldn't make my mind up at all. And, uh... Chris was like, take them both. Just take them both. And I was really, I wasn't going to say no if he suggested it because I really couldn't decide. So, hello Elsie, come on in. So I was very lucky and I had both. This was another one actually, and I just really love this one as well. Um, so this can be worn again, cross body. Um, it can be worn up on your shoulder. It's a really, really, really soft leather. Um, it's got a pocket here and here, and you just literally lift that up, and you've got all of that room. Oh, so hard to show you. All of that room in there. Um, I just love this bag. It's soft, it's squidgy, it's very sort of hoboy, and it looks as it still looks as beautiful now as it did. It's a lovely bag. And it's a Kath Kitson one. I've had this a long, long time. I bought this in I think I got this in Gunwolf Keys in Portsmouth. Um obviously from the Kath Kitson shop, and I, I love this. I've had it years and years and it's one of those like all the rest that I just won't let go because I like them so much. So this one, this one was another bag that I purchased in Italy but it wasn't in Florence, it was in Diana Marina which is like the era of Italy, beautiful sandy beaches and really really lovely. Um, yeah, and so it's another leather bag, really, really heavy, again, because the leather is so heavy. Like, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I love that one. That was from Italy again. Oh, this one, I've, oh my goodness, I've had this bag over 20 years. Really, no, have I? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you when I got this bag, it's a Karen Millen bag, and it was when they sort of were first sort of out really i've had it donkey's years um so it's nice and roomy inside it's black it's squidgy it's got karen millen written on it here um it's got like a pocket this side and a pocket on the other side and it just does that with a zip closure and yeah another sort of like hoboey sort of style bag and it's got like the little metal feet on the bottom to protect the bag. This bag, oh. oh my goodness, I love this bag as well. Um, this is a Valentina bag and it's absolutely stunning and it's um, leather, it's got a nice big pocket here at the back, it's got these lovely handles with like the gold brassware with the name here and on here and then it opens like this and then inside you've got a great big bit of room there and there and a whole um, zip thing here um, and then it's got another pocket on the wall and it also has but it also comes with a crossbody strap 
because it's quite a heavy bag in itself so that fits onto these but it's oh my goodness it's gorgeous i love this bag it's the stra it's the crossbody so they just unpop her like that okay and then you just hook that around to that little bit and that's your crossbody strap that's it this one another leather bag sort of hobo-y style again you can use it as a shoulder bag or crossbody um, and this one is a kipling bag it's one of the leather kipling bags um, and it's got this zip part that goes right the way literally across the bag and then you've got the zip bit here this is another kipling bag um, this one is really sort of summery as you can see and this has come along on holiday with me many 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 times before um, so it's got the it's got a pocket there on the front and then inside it's just so roomy I mean it's so spacious and the nice thing about the Kipling bags is they're just so light before you put any of your stuff in and then it's got a pocket here at the side and another pocket here at the side and then of course you've got your little Kipling monkey and what's this one called because they've all got names um this is called Valentina that little monkey is Valentina okay so that's an, that's one of my other Kipling bags and these are great because I've put these in the washing machine numerous amounts of times and you know they're perfect another kipling bag I told you i've got all types right so that's crossbody or you can have it on your shoulder um, i love the pattern of this one so it's got a pocket there easy access and then it's just got a pocket just sort of one pocket there because the big opening of the bag and then you've got your little thing to clip your keys onto so like you're not rummaging around in your bag for your house keys hi i see and this is another kipling bag love this i love all my this is why i've held on to these um quite a lot of my bags have come and they've gone as i say but some i just can't part with because i just like them and i like i use every single one of them so Listen, Daisy, you all right? Where have you been and got that sock from? Hey? Right, so this is another Kipling bag. Um, it's kind of got like a bit of an animal print vibe going on. Um, I'll show you this way. So there's the zip bit. Um, again, it's got another thing to put your keys on. And it's just got loads of pockets. It's also got another pocket there and another pocket there. And um, but as I say, very, very lightweight before you even put all your, all your gear in it. Another Kipling bag. Another Kipling bag. Um, same again, shoulder or crossbody, however you want to do it. I'll do it this way just for ease of showing you. Um, so again, this one great big zip open in here again with your key fob thing um all the different pockets in here for your phone and anything else big zip pocket at the back um it's got this bit here at the front and then it's got a pocket here and a pocket here and then it's got a pocket on, on the back this one remember where I bought this one guys again it's leather it's a really really soft leather again um, navy blue um, so you can just sort of like put it in the crook of your arm or carry it or whatever um, it has just like that little bit of detail on the front and I've just teamed it up with a little scarf and then inside it's got the different pockets inside and here of course so that's another really soft leather one and this one is another 
um, Tig Nutelli bag that I love. Blue again. All sorts of colours. So this one, it's got grab handles. It's got a um, a little strap that isn't actually crossbody, but because it's not very long, you can just sort of like have it up on your shoulder, um, and it still sort of sits nicely, if you know what I mean. You can just sort of rest your arm there. Um, this one has got so it's got a pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket um, over here. At the like at the sides, they've got pockets at each side here. And then inside, it's got a pocket at the back wall. The lining is beautiful. As you can see, they all look in really good condition still, because I do look after them. And then you've got a pocket here and a pocket here, and they're sort of trimmed with leather. So that's another one. I'm going to be changing my bag today. You can see, can't you? I'm bound to be now. Um, this one, it's squashed. But it's... The thing is, these bags are so robust. They might be a bit squashed, but by the time I get my things back in there, they're fine. Right, this one, I actually purchased in Barcelona. So we've gone, we've moved on to Spain now. Um, so yeah, I got this one in Barcelona. It's stunning. The leather is amazing. It smells beautiful. Um, it fits up there like that, or you can have it in the crook of your arm. And um, this has got a key thingy, my jig here. And then inside it's got a pocket at the back wall there. And then it's got, um, a little pocket there for your mobile phone, but mobile phones are a bit too big for that these days. But that again is a beautiful, beautiful leather bag, and um, there's the little feet to protect it. So that's everything from this container.